Our research is motivated by an urgent need to find new antibiotics uh, to treat drug resistant infections. So these diseases are on the rise worldwide and we desperately need new antibiotics to treat them. So my group is looking in unusual environments in the hope that they can provide us with new antibiotics that haven't been seen before and that are useful to clinical medicine. So at first glance, one of the more unusual places to think of looking is in the nests of leaf-cutting ants in South and Central America. So these ants go out into the rainforest, they collect leaves and they bring them back to their nests where they feed them to a fungus. So the ants live in symbiosis with a fungus, which means they're mutually dependent on each other. So the ants provide the fungus with food in the form of leaves, and in return the fungus provides the ants with food for their larvae and queen. So another partner in this symbiosis are antibiotic producing bacteria, and the ants use these antibiotics produced by the bacteria as weed killers to farm their fungus. So they use antibiotics to kill off pathogenic or infectious microbes which infect their fungal gardens. So a PhD student in my lab went out to French Guiana, went into the rainforest, collected some of these ants and brought them back to the lab and isolated bacteria from them. He then tested all of these bacteria to see if they were making antibiotics. So he screened them against microbes which cause diseases in humans. So simply, he grew these bacteria on agar plates, on petri dishes, then he overlaid them with an infectious microbe and when he saw a zone of clearing around the bacterium that suggested it was producing a useful antibiotic that could kill these infectious microbes. So, so far in the last two years we've been very lucky, we've identified two new antibiotics, um, both of which we hope will be useful in clinical medicine. Um, and we've also discovered, which we find really exciting, uh, that the ants use multi-drug therapy. So they actually use multiple antibiotics at the same time to prevent drug resistance arising in the microbes that infect their own gardens. Uh, and this is something that human medicine is just starting to explore. So the use of multiple antibiotics can actually slow the evolution of drug resistance. So it's fascinating that these ants not only evolved agriculture 50 million years ago, long before humans, but they also evolved antibiotic use and multi-drug therapy.